Hey gang, Jack Lair here, and just really quickly wanted to talk to you about uh, me transitioning over to Linux and how I found the experience so far. Now, I am using Ubuntu because it was the simplest one to get working for my system. I have an NVIDIA graphics card, which causes uh, difficulties with some flavors of Linux, but Ubuntu worked out of the gate and I didn't have to do much of anything to actually get it going. Actually less here than I did having to get it working on Windows when I was using that. Uh, the transition happened for a bunch of reasons, uh, but a lot of the questionable things that uh, Microsoft is starting to do is just slowly irritating me more and more, and here we are. And I found the transition surprisingly simple. So far, almost everything I've tried to do has just worked. Uh, the easiest uh, addition is Steam. It has made a lot of the things that I'm trying to play very easy to do. From everything that is on the Steam platform to games that are off of the Steam platform that when run through Steam thanks to its work on Proton, it's just started working. So really quick, when they're, when you're in Steam, the main thing is in the first time you launch it, it will only show games that run on Linux because that's what you are. But if you go to Steam, Settings, Compatibility, and then you just check this little thing that says Enable Steam Play for All Other Titles, it just opens up the floodgates and starts working on everything else. For instance, here we've got Skyrim. Uh, this is the one that, if you know me, you know that I've been playing it a lot more. I've got 400 hours on this version of Skyrim without mods, but it just keeps, <laughs> kind of keeps going. The more and more I play it. So here we are, we're in Skyrim. Uh, the other nice thing is that the controller support has been near flawless for everything I've tried. For instance, I am currently, this is, I am using a Google Stadia controller. And while your vi mileage may vary, uh, so far this has been an absolute blast to play. And to just use, there is a saber cat around here that is going to eat me. There it is. So we're just going to... And yep. That's Skyrim. He animated it in midair. That's really impressive. But we're going to go ahead. You guys have seen Skyrim a million times. So we're going to go ahead and bop out of there. Now the other thing that Steam does really well is it works with games that are not native. And the way that that works is you just add it in here. So for instance, I've added in my World of Warcraft executable. This is the one that takes me directly to my server that I've got here running in the house. And basically you just, once you add the game, you right click on it, you go to properties, compatibility, forced to use the specific Steam Play compatibility tool, and I'm using the Proton Hotfix. And so far, that has worked on every game that didn't have a weird requirement like a CNET or a .NET distributable or something like that. But just to show you, we'll go ahead and fire up World of Warcraft. And just... And here we are, logging in, playing World of Warcraft on Linux. Uh, we are in South Shore. 
again because I was knocking out some quests that I had just been kind of ignoring for a while. Uh, but we're here. Got access to the mailbox. And that's, uh, that's the external games working. Now, if uh, for some reason, let's say that this doesn't work, uh, or you're having trouble with Steam, the two main ways to run Windows games on a Linux operating system is through Proton, which we just did, and through Wine. Each of those are different and have different quirks, so your mileage may vary on those. But if we load up the second program that I've been using, this is the Heroic Games Launcher. Now, just like with Steam, where you can add the game there, you can also add games here. So if you want to add them directly in, it is a little bit more uh, fiddly in the Heroic Games Launcher, but you do have more options. So you may have better luck if you're using this one. Now, the amazing thing about this is Steam handles itself. So this works on the Epic Store, GOG, or good old games, and the Prime Gaming. So I've got uh, Amazon and I've got Epic and I've got GOG all logged in here. So, and I can just bot back and forth between the two. And then what I can do is then any games I buy connects to this big list over here. And as you can see, I've got uh, a few. And the good thing is, is that for the most part, it's just, hey, install this and it will handle most of the work for you. If you run into problems, you can go in and mess with the settings and the wine manager and everything else to get it to work. But as far as actually playing the game, just you click the button, you sit back for a little bit, and then you're in the game. So far, I have not found a game that this does not work with. Uh, I'm sure there are those in there, but just nothing in my library that I've been bouncing back and forth between has actually caused any problems. The only thing to mention is that sometimes during the intro animation and movies that are playing, you will get a little pop-up, or at least I do, that says, uh, Heroic Game Launcher is, is frozen. Do you want to wait or do you want to force close? And basically what that is is that it's that the game has paused and isn't doing anything, but it's handed off control to the video player. So the system occasionally thinks that the program is hung up. Now it's not, and you can just push wait, and then it moves on. But so here we are, we're gonna play a game. We're gonna continue from the last game. And I'm not very far in it on this playthrough. I literally just, I think I got dressed and then walked around, but here we are. in Alien Isolation. And I have not sat and done benchmarks, but this looks and feels just like it did on the PC. Looks a little weird. Let me just be looking through the glass, though. Ah, oh, it is. Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities. What? There you go. Alien Isolation. That's from the Epic Games, so there's that. We'll now look at Oblivion. This is the version that's on GOG.
And here we go. So we're going to go... See, here it is. And it just does that when the videos are playing. Because I think it doesn't know to just ignore that while, while these are going. And I think I just, yeah, I just logged in and made a character and then kind of bailed. Because I didn't want to go through all the trouble of rearranging the Pale skin. controls. Snotty expression. You're a Breton. The masters of Magicka, right? Hmm. Nothing but a bunch of stuck-up snobs with cheap parlor tricks. Go ahead. Try your Magicka in here. Let's see you make those bars yeah. disappear. But okay, so we've got those two different ways. And those are the main ways that uh, if you want to just go through and do the games that you have in these four different libraries, that's uh, an easy way to go about it. Now, the other thing is... Emulation works amazingly well. And I have had, uh, once again, ooh, that was loud. I've had a lot of good luck. We are going to, give me just a minute, because that would kill me. There we go. But these have uh, been working flawlessly from everything from uh, uh, the PSP all the way back and forward. Uh, I haven't tried out the PS3 one yet, but I mean, this is just snapping along, moving great. And you've seen Street Fighter like a million times. And the only thing to be careful about is the same thing you have to be careful about uh, with uh, the same systems on Windows is that if you push the uh, the home the Xbox button the PlayStation button the Stadia button whatever it is uh, if you have Steam open up here it will open big picture mode and just push everything else to the back, uh, but. That's about it. Uh, if you're if you're using Linux and you're gaming on Linux and you have uh, any other insights or suggestions or good videos to watch on how to do more with gaming in this space, I'm gonna continue to do uh, little bits and pieces as I move forward because there are some quirks that uh, I think people should know about just to help them along but that's going to do it for me thank you very much for watching and as always play on